This segment of the video addresses the two short open-ended questions and the two essay questions. Your answers in this section help us to get to know you and gain a better understanding of your past experiences and your interests going forward. The application will time out after 30 minutes without use, so if you feel that you need more time than 30 minutes to answer the questions, you can log out, complete your answers in MS Word, a Google Doc, or any other similar word processor. Then log back into the system and copy and paste your answers in the field below each question. Very important, please note that if you do time out, your information will not be saved. If writing short answer and essay responses is intimidating or you're not quite sure where to start, keep in mind that there are no right answers to these questions. Some tips as you're brainstorming and outlining. Are there contributions that you might make to addressing health disparities or promoting health equity? So thinking about your unique perspective, what might you bring to the table to really help impact change around those things that you're very passionate about? Are there health issues in your family, for example, or maybe in your community that you have observed that may have contributed to your passion to pursue this specific educational and career pathway? Think through other ways that you might be able to contribute and to support diversity within the program. What we care about most is seeing your passion for solving problems and your connection to pursuing a health research pathway. The first questions are the short answer questions, limited to 150 words for each question. Here's the first one. Describe one experience that has made you interested in pursuing a career in research science, or health. You may discuss a time when you pursued an answer to a question you were curious about, or an experience in a class, a lab, a summer camp, or observing and collecting data in nature, etc. Limit your answer to 150 words. Here's a tip to answering the question. Can you think of an example of a health-related topic that you've heard about, read about in the news, or found out about in class? Or, do you think a lot about the health of people where you live? You can think about it both locally and globally. Question two. Tell us about a time you supported or contributed to a community. Give brief details about this community and how you supported or contributed to the community you described. Contributions can be anything from raising younger siblings to participating in a community service project. Community can include family, work, school, friends, religious groups, clubs, sports, etc. Please limit your answer to 150 words. Here's a tip for answering this question. Your community experience could have happened in a variety of settings. You aren't expected to have significant experience in these areas. The program is looking for people who can use examples from their past to describe their passion for helping others and can talk about their commitment to be involved and engaged in the community around them. Now we'll move on to the longer essay questions. Remember, we mentioned some tips for getting your writing started in the beginning. These two essay questions should not exceed 300 words. Question number one. What are your academic and career goals beyond an undergraduate degree? Include details about your interest in a biomedical, behavioral, social science, clinical, bioengineering, or health research career, and how your participation in Build Exito might support this pursuit. Please limit your answer to 300 words. Here's a tip for this question. We would like you to be honest, and we know that your goals may change, so we certainly recognize that what you envision as your academic and career goals could shift over time as you become aware of different opportunities. So this is normal and expected. We're hoping to get a better idea of your current thoughts on future educational and career goals and to learn more about the issues and problems you are really passionate about and how you may address them in your future life and career. Be sure to include details on how you believe the program can support you in achieving your goals. Remember, there are very many different types of research careers, and there are many different types of degree pathways. Question two. 
Build Exito brings together individuals from diverse backgrounds interested in health, science, and research. How have your unique or diverse life experiences fueled your interest in health, science, or research? This NIH-funded project engages individuals from diverse backgrounds as they pursue research careers in biomedical, behavioral, social science, clinical, bioengineering, or health. Please limit your answer to 300 words. Here's a tip. In this question, we're interested in how your unique or diverse life experiences are connected to your interests in health, science, or research. We'd really like for you, within this essay, to describe how your own individual perspective might contribute to diversity within the Build Exito program, and how your perspective has impacted the career and academic goals that you described in Essay 1. Let us know if you are a student that represents one or more of the following NIH-defined backgrounds. These include underrepresented minority, students from foster care, rural students, inner city students, students with disabilities, low-income students, or first-generation college students. A very important note is that being a student from a particular background is not required to be eligible as an Exito Scholar. If you are working on your essay questions or any part of the application and you find you need a little bit more support, we will have drop-in sessions scheduled. Once you start the application, we will notify you of drop-in sessions at your institution.